few years ago, a couple years ago, when the Democrats were in the majority, then Representative Dan Dodd served as chairman, I believe, of the Insurance Committee. You can correct me on what the committee was entitled. I believe it was insurance. The insurance Committee at that time had jurisdiction over the Bureau of Workers' Compensation. Chairman Dodd, Representative Dodd, called the attorney representing Tom Howard and made an appointment to go visit Tom Howard down at the Hockey Correctional Institute. He was informed by Tom Noe, Dan Dothmas, that in fact the Inspector General had never interviewed Tom Noe. To this day, Tom Noe has never been interviewed by a representative of the Inspector General's office. Perhaps the most significant scandal since, since the collapse of uh, banks in the 1980s or the Crofter scandals in the 1970s, CoinGate arguably brought about the end of an administration and other elected officials' terms in office. And additional oversight is incredibly, is incredibly need, important and needed to ensure that this administration and administrations that come, Democrat and Republican, have somebody who is going to serve in an oversight capacity that is beyond reproach that has no partisan affiliations or uh, uh, supporters and cheerleaders on either side. Somebody who is going to have the support of both Democrats and Republicans in terms of the selection process, but not those leaders in terms of the work that that individual as Inspector General does. I believe the former Inspector General and the present Inspector General uh, uh, were far too, uh, were influenced uh, to, a, to a degree that affected their <coughs> judgments. Tom Charles was first appointed into state capacity by George Voinovich. And, and as we have come to know, resisted issuing a report on what was then and remains one of the most significant political scandals of our time. When Randall Meyer was appointed by Governor Casey, he again resisted issuing a report. And it wasn't until, as, as, uh, as Representative Pillage points out, that Common Cause intervened and reminded the Inspector General he doesn't get a, a choice. Once, a, once an investigation is commenced, the law requires the Inspector General to issue a report. And here we are, all of these years later. Toledo Blade first broke the CoinGate story in 2005. And here we are, seven, eight years later. We still are waiting. And I think Representative Pillage's uh, legislation would go a long way in restoring accountability and confidence so that we don't have political uh, uh, witch hunts as we saw in the final year of Governor Strickland's term. And, and we have a, a, a watchdog, an inspector general, who actually is going about the business of rooting out uh, waste, fraud, and abuse, which he is, uh, in this case, required to do.